Hi, everybody. It's Deborah from PeopleLovingAnimals.com. Thanks so much for tuning in and watching today's video. Today's video is called How to Stop a Cat from Spraying. And it's going to be a pretty thorough video today because we're going to talk about what is the difference between a cat spraying and peeing. We're going to talk about why male cats will spray. We're going to talk about whether female cats spray. And we're going to talk about how to stop your cat from spraying by knowing why they're doing it. So it's going to be a pretty thorough video. Now, if you've been here before, you know my name is Deborah. I own a website called PeopleLovingAnimals.com. And just about once a week, I do a video all about the care, health, and training of dogs and cats. So if you have a dog or a cat that you would like to get continued help with, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Also, please share the channel with your friends and family who have a dog and a cat. They might like some help as well. Also, if today's video is helpful to you, please give it a like. It really helps YouTubers when you do that. So again, thanks so much for tuning in and watching. Let's go ahead and get into today's video. <clears throat> we are on my website, peoplelovinganimals.com, and we're going to use this article called How to Stop a Cat from Spraying for today's video. I'm not going to read the article to you. I'm going to use it to keep me on track to make sure that we cover all the points for the video. Also, I am going to give you a link to this article in the description box of the video so you can go back and read it or refer to things again if you want to. You can also share it with people and anything that we talk about in today, today's video that you might want to know more about, I'm going to give you the links to in the description box. So go ahead and relax and just enjoy the video. I'm going to give you everything you need in the description box. Um, now, like what I talked about um, in the introduction, we're going to talk about what's the difference between a cat peeing and spraying, why male cats uh, will spray, whether or not female cats will spray, and then how do you find out why your cat is doing this so that you can stop it? Now, I'm, I'm sorry to laugh, but, you know, uh, I've been there. You know, a cat peeing is bad enough. The smell of cat urine is bad enough. When a cat sprays, it, especially a tomcat, it's like 10 times worse. You know, I always say if, you're, if your male cat sprays in the house, you might as well just pack up and move. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's awful. So I don't mean to laugh. I'm just laughing because, oh, I, I know what you're going through. So I really hope that by the end of today's video, you're going to have a solution on, on how to not have this happen in your life anymore. So let's figure out why the cats are doing it to begin with. But first things first, what is the difference between a cat spraying and a cat peeing? If a cat is just urinating, they're going to squat somewhere, okay? Whether it's a male or a female cat, they're going to squat somewhere, whether it's in the litter box, if it's out in the grass, or unfortunately, if it's on your couch or on your floor or on your carpet, they're going to squat and they're going to pee, okay? That's urinating. When a cat is spraying, they they, most of the time back up against the wall, their tail is stuck straight up in the air, the tail is usually quivering a little bit, and they're spraying at the wall at a vertical surface. Okay, so that's how you can tell whether your cat is spraying or whether they're peeing. They'll also do it, you know, like they'll do it against a wall or do it against the, the side of the couch, the back of the recliner, um, you know, things like that. A vertical um, surface, they'll back their butt up to it, stick the tail up and spray. Okay. Now, if you haven't seen your cat do it, then you may not know, were they squatting? You may not know, but how a telltale sign of when your cat is spraying instead of peeing is if it's on a vertical surface. If you see pee on a wall, you know it's the cat is spraying, not just urinating, okay? And there is a, a, a good reason why you need to know the difference, and you're going to understand that by the end of today's video. Um, like I say, the also the cat spray will have a much worse smell than cat urine usually. And also the spray when they're spraying, it's not as much volume of liquid as urinating, okay? So it's a little bit less. Okay, so that'll help you to decide whether or not your cat is urinating or spraying. Now, after what I've just told you, if you think your cat is just urinating or even after the end of this video and as you're trying to get to the bottom of this, you're like, geez, I wonder if this cat is just peeing. 
or if you can't really tell, I'm going to give you access to three more videos and there's articles you can link to in, in, if you go to this article. One is called How to Stop a Cat from Urinating in the House, 10 Reasons Why Your Cat's Not Using the Litter Box. I'm going to give you a link to the video called How to Stop a Cat from Urinating on the Bed and How to Get a Cat to Use the Litter Box. Okay, so if you're having a hard time you think your cat is peeing, not spraying, but they're doing it in the, in the house somewhere other than the litter box. Then go ahead and go to those videos. And you're gonna get some. You're gonna get some help with it. Okay. Now, first, why do male cats spray? Um, male cats will most often spray. Actually, there's a lot of reasons why a cat might spray, and we're going to talk about that in today's video. But male cats usually are going to spray for one of two reasons, either to mark their territory, especially if you have other cats around. If you have other cats in the house, another cat comes around, the male cat is going to spray to mark his territory, okay? Um, it's also known as urine marking, and it's a way that the cat makes his presence known to other cats, okay? The other reason that a male cat will spray is for the sake of mating. Again, cat urine uh, contains pheromones that can be smelled um, and sensed by other cats, and if a, if a cat is spraying, they're letting the other cats know that they're there and that they're available for mating, okay? So that's usually one of the two reasons reasons why a male cat will spray. Now, because a male cat will spray for mating purposes, one of the ways to solve your male cat spraying is by having him neutered. Um, now, unless you specifically want a litter of kittens for some reason, and you want your male cat to be the dad, have him neutered. There's all kinds of information online about the benefits, the health benefits, why it is safer and healthier for your cat to be neutered. So go ahead and research that if you're not sure for whatever reason, whether you want to. My advice is that yes, your male cat should be neutered for your sake and for his. And you know, you don't want to participate in having a bunch of kittens being born who aren't going to have a home. Okay. But again, this video is not about that, but I just mentioned it um, for the sake of mentioning it. So th the best way to solve your male cat from spraying is to have them neutered. A male cat should be neutered before they are six months old. Um, most male cats will not start spraying if they've been neutered by the time they're six months old. If you have a, an older cat, that is, uh, that is, you know, much older than six old. Uh, six months and he is spraying, know that a large percentage of an, of the older cats will stop spraying after they've been neutered. Most of them will stop spraying immediately and a few of them will stop spraying eventually like over a period of um, within a few months. Okay, so neutering, if you have a male cat spraying, the, the fastest, best, most effective way to stop it is by having them neutered. Okay. Now people ask, do female cats spray? Yes, they do. Um, it's not as common as it is in male cats, but a female cat will spray. And there are a variety of reasons why she might. We're going to talk about that in today's video. But the most common reason why a female cat would be spraying, again, is for mating purposes. She's got pheromones in her cat urine. She's putting it out to male cats. Uh, she may be in heat or coming into heat and she wants to let the other cat, the male cats know that she she is available for mating. Okay, again, the best solution if you have a female cat who is spraying is to have her spayed. Now, female cats reach maturity somewhere between five and eight months old. So if you want to prevent that female cat from going into heat, and if you want to prevent an unwanted pregnancy, you need to do it by the time she's about five months old. Uh, it'll prevent an unwanted pregnancy, and it will also help pre prevent some possible health issues for her later in life. Again, whether or not you're going to spay or neuter your cat, if you have any doubts about whether you should, the best thing to do is research online. And, and you'll see that there's a, a whole bunch more reasons to do it than there are not to do it. And also you might have a discussion with your vet and your vet will also reiterate that, yeah, it's the right thing to do. And it's going to save you a lot of grief. It's going to save your pet a lot of grief. And it can also um, prevent a lot of health issues in their 
future in the rest of their life for whether it's a female or a male cat, okay? Now, how to stop a cat from spraying. Um, in addition to the reasons that we've already discussed as to why male and female cats will spray, there are other causes for them to spray. And again, we're going to continue to talk about the causes because the best way to figure out how to stop it is to figure out why they're doing it. Okay, now, one of the reasons, I'm going to give you several here, hang with me, okay? One of the reasons why a cat will spray is if there's a new pet in the house or a baby. Um, again, uh, this may make the cat feel threatened especially a tomcat, they're going to want to mark their territory. They're also going to want to mark things in the house that they think belong to them. <laughs> Even if it's a room, if it's the couch, whatever it is, they're going to spray to mark their territory if another cat is there, okay? Also for, you know, mating purposes. If you've got a cat that's not spayed or neutered and another cat comes in, they're going to start spraying all over the place to make the announcement that they're available, you know. Uh, so that's one of the things you need to do. Also, if you're bringing in a new pet or a new baby, um, you've got to really realize that that can really affect your cat. Cats do not like change as a general rule. It will upset them. And if they're upset, they're going to start spraying. So keep your cat on a regular schedule. Make sure they have a regular routine. Keeping things like feeding times, bedtimes, litter box cleanings, keep it all consistent. Don't rock your cat's boat too much, all right? Whether, no matter what it is, but specifically if you're bringing in a new pet or a new baby, try not to rock your cat's boat too much. Do you know what I mean? Um, you can help your cat to adjust to new things in the house, like a baby or the baby supplies, for example. A new pet comes in, they have their own pet bed. Let the cat examine these things. Let them smell these things. Let them check things out so that they can begin to feel more comfortable with whatever has come in the house, okay? Whether it's a baby, whether it's another pet, pet where, whether it's, uh, you know, another pet and all their stuff or your baby and all their stuff, okay? So let your cat check things out. Uh, another thing that will cause a cat to spray, and again, I hate to keep blaming the tomcats, but especially a tomcat, especially a male cat, is neighborhood cats. Um, if there's neighborhood cats hanging around, your cat might start spraying. Again, a male is going to spray to mark his territory, make himself known. A female, if she's unspayed, she's going to spray uh, for the sake of mating uh, rituals. They are both probably male or female. They're going to be threatened by the cats. They might even be afraid of the neighborhood cats. If they're spraying around windows or doors, that's a good indicator that there might be cats hanging out outside and that's why your cat is spraying. Um, shoo away neighborhood cats if they're coming in your yard and your cat is spraying. Now, if your cat sits in the window all the time and she has no problem with the cat next door coming over her and they meow to each other through the window, that's perfectly fine. But if it's causing your cat to spray, Okay, that's when you need to shoo the neighborhood uh, cats away, okay? Shoo them away if they come around. Don't put food and water out for outside cats. You also might limit your cat's view of the outdoors by moving furniture, like if they usually sit up on the back of the couch and look out the window or if they have a cat perch. Um, it doesn't have to be permanent, but just until you can get those neighborhood cats to stop coming around, just limit your cat's view so they can't see them because they're going to see them and then they're spraying, right, if that's what they're doing. Um... Here's a, a really good idea. If shooing the neighborhood cats away isn't effective, you might try a, attaching a motion detection device to your lawn sprinkler. <laughs> I'm sorry to laugh. I know that might be kind of mean, but boy, would it be effective if uh, you have this attached as a motion detector and, and it causes the intruding cat to be squirted with water when he goes, say, toward a certain window, okay? So just keep that in mind as, as an option. But I think shooing them away, not putting any food out for them, I think may basically shooing them away might might be pretty effective. Now, if you have a cat that no matter what you do, this neighborhood cat keeps coming around, that animal probably is not spayed or neutered, okay? And I'll tell you a story. This is not about cats. It's about a dog. But I want to give you an example of what I'm talking about here and for you to realize how extreme it is. I had a beagle puppy 100 years ago. It was a long time ago. Her name was Daisy. She was a doll. She's a little beagle puppy. Well, I did not have her spayed early enough, and she went into heat, 
All right. Well, when that dog went into heat, every dog in three counties showed up in my yard. Dogs I had never seen before. I had never even seen these dogs before. Big dogs, little dogs. The, when that my little beagle puppy was in heat, dogs came from all around. And so that's how extreme it is. But I'm going to, it, it, it's even worse. One time, so I had to stand with her out in the yard while she was peeing and while she was out there. She was very little. She was very young. I thought she was even too young to be spayed. I don't know. Maybe, maybe she went into heat early, you know, but so I would stand outside with her. Well, it's a good thing because I am not kidding you when I tell you that one day I was standing out in the yard with that little beagle puppy and a St. Bernard came into the yard. A St. Bernard. Now you can imagine how scared I was for my baby, my little tiny beagle puppy, for this St. Bernard to have in mind what I knew he had in mind. And I got to tell you, he was aggressive. I tried to just shoo him away. I had to actually pick up, um, there was a broom nearby and I couldn't get a hold of the broom, but I could get a hold of the dust band for the broom. And I had to like start swinging at him. I had to like fight him off. Luckily, he didn't attack me. He didn't attack her, but he was downright aggressive. Um, so if you have a neighborhood cat um, that's coming around and won't go away, um, chances are that cat is not neutered and is not spayed um, if it's a male cat and he's a aggressive. Um, so just keep that in mind that, you know, their natural instincts are pretty strong and they'll fight you on it. If you have a cat, for example, a tomcat next door that keeps coming over and your female cat is in the house spraying, obviously get your cat spayed. But also if you know who that cat belongs to, ask your neighbor, please, you know, have your cat spray, uh, you know, neutered or whatever, you know, but anyway, neighborhood cats can be a problem. So you need to just get them to go away or limit your cat's vision so they can't see them. Okay. Sorry to get off on a tangent there, but oh, just, I just, I'm, I'm like I'm trembling a little bit, <laughs> even thinking about that. It was so long ago, but oh, I'll never forget that St. Bernard coming in the yard. I've got a little interruption in my article here, so I'm going to use it to interrupt our video briefly to invite you to sign up for my cat lovers email list. Um, if you're signed up for that about once a week or so, you'll get an email from peoplelovinganimals.com and it'll be all about the health and care and training of cats. I think that you'll find it quite valuable. There'll be blog posts and articles and videos. If not, you can always unsubscribe, but I would love to have you on board as an email subscriber. If you do subscribe, you will get a free gift from me, which is a little uh, ebook about how to stop bad cat behavior. So I'll give that to you as a free gift if you'd like to subscribe to the email list for cat lovers. Let's carry on. Some cats will spray to get attention. And again, this will sometimes start if you've brought another cat in, if you've had a baby, you know, whatever. Um, make sure that you're spending enough time with your cat and giving them enough affection, petting them or brushing your cat or get on the floor and play with them with a little toy. It'll go a long way to make them feel secure and not threatened by whoever they think is stealing the attention and just help your cat to be content. Um, now that can be true even if you ha if you don't have a new pet or bring in a new baby and it could just be that your cat just wants more of attention from you, okay? Um, again, cats spray to make themselves known. They spray to make themselves known for a variety of reasons, okay? So it would make sense if they're not getting enough attention. They, they might see spraying as a way to get your attention and uh, boy does it, you know? Also, like we've talked about, changes in their routine will cause a cat to stop spraying. They don't like change. Changes in your household, changes in your schedule. Um, again, feed your cat at the same time every day. Keep their litter box clean. Keep their toys and their bed in the same spot. If you move your furniture around, you know, I used to have a tomcat named Myron. And he wasn't, he, he didn't spray or anything. He was neutered young. I didn't really have any problems with Myron at all. But I remember whenever I would change the living room furniture around, Myron would stalk the couch for like three days. You know, I'm like, Myron, it's the same couch. But he, and, and I don't feel like he was upset by it, but it was like this big thing to him. Do you know what I mean? Well, if you have a sensitive kitty, it might be a big scary thing to them that you're rearranging the living room furniture, especially if that includes moving their litter box or moving their food dishes or moving their bed, just keep in mind, what are you doing that has changed? How have I upset the cat? 
cat. Okay, so it could be something as simple as moving furniture around. And obviously, if big things happen, like you move, you move to a new house, you know, things like this, it's going to upset the cat. They don't like change. So you got to try to do as much as you can. I say in the article, whenever there's a change of any sort within your household, consider how it's affecting your cat and make an effort to normalize things for your cat as much and as quickly as you possibly can. Another very common, one of the most common uh, reasons why a cat will spray is because there are multiple cats. If you have more than one cat, you have to make sure there are enough beds, enough food dishes, enough toys, enough perches, enough litter boxes, and enough space. Cats will spray to mark their territory and their belongings if they feel threatened by other cats. Providing multiple things that cats need and enjoy will go a long way toward keeping the peace. Um, there's a video on my YouTube channel. I'll try to remember to link it for you called um, How to Keep Cats from Fighting. And that talks a lot about this. You know, cats can be very territorial, but if they're fighting with another cat or if they're spraying because there's another cat in the house, don't be too quick to judge them because it might not be a tough guy kind of thing. It might be more a scared kind of thing. If your cat feels threatened by these other cats, then she's going to be like, that's my food. That's my bed. Those are my toys. They might even get aggressive in you and say, that's my mommy. And they might get aggressive with the other cat when it comes to you. And sometimes maybe it's, uh, you know, an unneutered tomcat that's just being a jerk, you know, but sometimes it could be that the cat really feels threatened for whatever reason by the other cats. So just try to accommodate them. And, and really, if you have um, more than one cat, pay attention. Do they share the food dishes okay? Or are they fighting? Is there tension at the food dishes? Do you know, same with the litter box. Are they sharing it okay? Or is there tension there? If somebody's peeing somewhere, chances are they're not okay with sharing the litter box. Are they snuggling together in the little cat bed that you bought them? Then maybe they like sleeping together. But if one is snarling at the other about the bed, they need separate beds, do you see? So it really will save you a lot of grief and it will save your cat a lot of upset um, and it'll save your house from being sprayed in if you just go ahead and get them their own stuff, you know. Uh, again, multiple cats, it's just, it's just a common thing that if you have multiple cats, you can have problems. Now, I've had multiple cats and I've been very fortunate in that I've never really had a problem. I had uh, two cats that... Um, one lived for 20 years, one lived for 14 years. So for 14 years, uh, you know, well, the other one was born. They lived together. They loved each other madly. They loved each other madly. They played together all the time. They Their food dishes were the same. Their litter box was the same. They absolutely adored each other for 14 years. I never had a problem. I, I have brought other um, cats into the house and uh, I've never really had a problem with that. Um, so I've been very fortunate, but I know that it is quite common if you have more than one cat that they're not going to get along, okay? And keep in mind, no matter how much of a jerk you think your cat might be being, or you think your cats are just being jerks because they're fighting, realize that it's more likely, more fear-based, Okay, so try, try to have compassion if you can. Try to be understanding about that. Now, what to do if your cat sprays? First of all, clean the area as soon as possible because number one, the smell is going to be so terrible. And number two, if you have other cats in the house, it's going to encourage everybody to spray and it's just going to be terrible. And like I said, you're just going to have to pick up and move out, you know. But, uh, you know, clean it up as soon as possible by either wiping the surface where the cat has sprayed or use a paper towel or a, an old washcloth or an old towel to absorb the liquid from the carpet if they've done it um, on the carpet or if it's leaked down from the wall onto the carpet. Then this is very important. Clean the air, area thir thoroughly with an enzymatic cleaner like this one. Nature's Miracle, no more marking. I'm giving you the link to it in the description box. It's very important that you use an enzyme 
cleaner because that's what's going to eliminate the odor. Okay, now if you don't eliminate the odor, it invites the cat to go back and spray or pee there again. Same thing if you have a cat urinating in the house. You're going to find that in that article that I referred you to in the video about how to stop your cat from getting in the house. If they pee on your bed, if they pee on the couch, if they pee on the floor, you need to use a product like Nature's Miracle to get rid of the smell. It's not expensive, by the way. You get it on Amazon. I'm giving you the link to it. It'll eliminate the odor and it'll help prevent the cat from spraying in that same area again. If your cat has sprayed on a blanket, your bed, clothing, then you can go ahead and wash that, those articles in your washing machine with regular uh, laundry detergent. If you wanted to, you could throw, say, a half a cup of vinegar in the wash. You could throw, say, a half a cup of baking soda in the wash to kind of help more with, you know, with the smell. If it's a white fabric, you could throw, put a little bleach in the wash. But washing that item with regular laundry soap um, should do the trick to eliminate eliminate the urine and the, and the spray and to eliminate the odor. Um, if the spray has gotten on the carpet, then I'm giving you the article called How to Remove Dog and Cat Urine from Carpet. Um, I have an article and a video, and that goes into a little bit more detail about how to do this. And um, also, if your cat has uh, peed on your bed, oh, I'm so sorry, or your couch, um, you can get a steamer. You can, you can really do a good job of of cleaning that up okay so that's what you do if they're if they're spraying and, and how to take care of it okay now this is very important um, if your cat is spraying um, it's usually a behavioral issue it's usually a behavioral issues having to do with the, the things that we've talked about in today's video but you should have your cat checked by a veterinarian if this persists okay you've done the things we've talked about in this video and this cat just continues to spray or if they're urinating, whether they're urinating or spraying and it's persistent and you can't get a handle on it and you can't get them to just pee in the litter box, then you really need to have them seen by the veterinarian. A basic vet examination can rule out or identify any medical problems that may be causing your cat to spray. A few possibilities are liver disease, urinary tract infections, urinary tract, kidney or bladder stones, hyperthyroidism, feline leukemia, high blood sugar, and stress. These are some of the things that could be going on. So again, if this persists, please take your cat to the vet. Have them checked out. Your cat will, or your cat, your cat will know what to look for. Your, your vet will know what to look for if this, if you're telling him that, that this is the issue. If your cat's uh, spraying is caused by stress or anxiety, which is very common for whatever the reasons are that we already talked about in today's video, then uh, your vet may be able to recommend a medication that can help to calm your cat down, help them deal with their anxiety. You might also try a calming product. I'm going to give you an, uh, a link to Amazon. There are certain um, products. They have diffusers, um, sprays, things like that, that have calming cat pheromones and they, they just help to calm your cat. Um, so I'm going to give you a link to that area on Amazon where you can find those things. Um, for more information about what might be stressing your cat out, um, you know, you might have listened to this video all the way up to this point and say, well, uh, none of that stuff is happening, but my cat is still spraying. Well, he might be dealing with some kind of stress or anxiety. So if you want more information about that, I have a video called Cat Stress Relievers, 10 Things That Stress Your Cat Out. Actually, that's the name of the article. I think the video is called Why Is My Cat a nervous wreck. But, but, but regardless, it's 10 things that might be stressing your cat out and they cover some things that aren't included here in today's video. So if you're still needing to get to the bottom of why is the cat doing this, that might be an additional resource that can help you. Now, speaking of additional resources, let me give you two of my bestest, bestest recommendations for cat training. If you've been here before for a cat video, you've heard me talk about ultimatecatsecrets.com. I've been recommending this um, cat training program on my website for more than six years. Um, this is a 12-part audio program that covers really everything that you need to know about owning a cat. Not just cat training, but everything. Their health, their care, um, it covers cat pregnancy, all kind, grooming, all kinds of things. It's a really thorough cat program. It's an audio program. It doesn't come on CD. It's like downloadable, so you can listen to it on your computer, on your laptop, on your iPad, on your cell phone. So it makes it easier to, you know, to just listen to the information. 
it's broke, broken up into 12 separate programs. And the cost is only $37 and it comes with a 100% money back guarantee. So I highly recommend that one if you have um, issues with your cat that you're trying to deal with. Now, one that is just most just specifically cat training. It doesn't cover as much of all the other things about owning a cat, more specifically cat training, is from kingdomofpets.com. Um, I highly recommend this one. It's complete. It's a complete cat training uh, training guide. It's a downloadable ebook, and it is jam-packed with information about how to solve 25 real-life cat behavior problems. It includes the best cat training techniques in step-by-step -step instructions. This one also happens to be $37 and it comes with a 100% money back guarantee. I'm going to give you a link to both of these products in the description box if you feel like you need more help. Um, also, if you do need more help, you might find uh, there are going to be articles on my uh, website under cat training. You'll see it on the in the menu on my website and also on my YouTube channel. You'll see a playlist called cat training. And so you're going to be able to find some extra help there too. Now, be patient with your cat. Look at this little cutie. This is the sweetest. That's the cutest little kitty. Um, you know, like we talked about already, your cat might be spraying for a perfectly natural reason like mating. Okay? Nothing wrong with a cat. It's just what cats do. Okay? That is most likely the case. But if they're spraying due to stress or territorial issues, then the cat most likely feels upset frightened or threatened. Okay. So never punish your cat for spraying. This will only worsen their anxiety and it can make the problem worse. Um, always be kind to your cat. Never hit your cat. Never yell at your cat. And always remember that cats are highly intelligent animals. Their behavior all, always has a logical reason. There's always a reason, and I believe that it is our job as the pet owner to be educated and figure out what the reason is. No matter what the animal is doing, if they're biting, if they're peeing, if they're spraying, um, no matter what the animal is doing, it's our job as a pet owner to find out why. So I'm really glad you're here for this video and you're finding out why is the cat doing that, and that is always the best way to take appropriate steps to get the problem solved. Now. Speaking of solving the problem, I hope that this video will solve the problem for you. Like I said in the beginning, I know how big of a problem this is and how terrible it is in your house. You might have a spouse that's ready to throw the cat out. You know, I do understand the seriousness of it, and I really hope that today's video has helped and um, possibly the additional videos that I've told you about that I'm giving you the links to and also the two separate cat training programs. With all of this, I hope I've given you enough resources to actually get to the bottom of this and get it solved. One more thing before we go. I donate to animal charities. Um, I am an affiliate for not all of, but some of the products and services that I recommend on my uh, YouTube channel and also on my website. Now, what I do is I search for products and services that are going to benefit my subscribers, and I recommend things just like I did in today's video. I recommended a couple of cat training programs that I have researched and recommend. I recommended some Amazon products that would, would help you with this issue. Now, I become an affiliate for these companies and then I give you the links and if you purchase these products I get a small commission and then I don't this how I do this for a living by the way this is my full-time job people loving animals.com and I donate 10% of all of the commissions that I earn on my People Loving Animals YouTube channel and website to animal charities. And if you go to the homepage of my website, peoplelovinganimals.com, you will see a list of all of the animal charities that I donate to. So for that reason, I would love it if you would please refer this channel, uh, this video, all of my videos, my website to your friends and family who have a dog or a cat because um, all of the um, sales, a portion of that that will go to help animals. And I've been doing this for about six and a half years as of the date of today's video. And I literally have hundreds of articles on my website and I'm well over 200 videos now, all about the care and health and training of dogs and cats. So if you have a friend who has a dog or a cat, chances are they will benefit from some of the information that they can find here, okay? I hope so much that this has helped you. Again, I want to thank you so much for tuning in and watching today's video. I'm just going to... Um...
slide out here to say goodbye. So thank you again so much for watching. I hope that this has helped. Please go ahead and like the video. Go ahead and subscribe if you if you like this sort of content. Go ahead and uh, share this video with other people. And go ahead and sign up in the description box to be on the Cat Lovers email list. You'll get that little free gift and you're, you'll get an email to uh, all different uh, subjects to help you with your cat about once a week from peoplelovinganimals.com. So again, thanks so much for watching. I hope I've helped. Please feel free to comment and let me know how you make out. Again, my name is Deborah and my website is peoplelovinganimals.com. Thanks again. Bye-bye.